welcome to email to skills video tutorial in this video tutorial we will learn how to backup all the mysql databases which are hosted on uh, linux and uh, they have to be compressed using the zzip uh, command so uh, just a basic background of what mysql dump is so mysql dump is a client which is a backup program uh, which is used for taking the backup of mysql databases so it takes up the database uh, backup in forms or in form of text command so it has uh, all the statements which can build the database and table so in short mysql dump is a client program to take the backup so in this demo what we are going to do is we are going to take a, so our requirement is backup all the mysql databases and finally compress the uh, dump file using uh, when uh, the backup completes so what is the syntax the syntax is mysql dump hyphen hyphen user user we are going to uh, create is uh, mysql backup hyphen hyphen password uh, you can give the password which is not the right way so instead of this what we will do we will mask the uh, user id and the password then uh, we have to give the switch hyphen hyphen all hyphen databases uh, then pipe zzip and then the location uh, of uh, the zipped file so in the first step what we are going to do is we are going to log into mysql instance and we are going to create a mysql backup user so this has been done uh, in uh, earlier demo as well so we are going to uh, keep it very short and uh, to the point so i'm going to log into the uh, root user on mysql prompt so this is uh, so the tool which I'm going, uh, which I'm using to logging to the uh, 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 to the Linux box is uh, is put a session. So this is very very good. Uh, so uh, it has it has a, a good facility to store your uh, uh, password and uh, and it is very very. So the the tool name is Moextrom and it is convenient to use. So I'm logged into. Um, uh, mysql as uh, root user on the command prompt so let us create the user uh, so what i'm going to do is since i have done a previous uh, demo as well so there there may be two users with the mysql dump uh, one is created to log in from the local host and another from anywhere so i'm going to drop uh, both the users so if you see i have uh, dropped both the users now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, create a user with the name uh, mysql backup so you can see i'm just saying select host user from mysql dot user and uh, it will showcase like if uh, there is any user which with that name is created or not so these are the default users which are created so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say create user mysql backup at localhost and then i'll give some password then i'm going to give some uh, uh, what do you say the privileges so that it can take the backup of all the database so let me uh, uh, run all the three statements in one shot and it is going to create my uh, so the, these commands will be appearing as uh, what do you say as comment section so you can note it from there so let me find it out if uh, user is created or not so you can see that the user mysql backup at localhost is created so it will be able to log in from the localhost and the second step what we are going to do is we are going to create the password less login using a string so uh, the utility to use that is mysql hyphen config hyphen editor print hyphen all so this will show all the uh, what do you see the password less logging which are available for the particular user so uh, this is uh, this you can use it uh, from the shell so just execute it so this will show so you can see that uh, there is a thread with the name um, a string with the name e multi skills underscore mysql underscore mysql backup and this is configured for the mysql backup so i'm going to drop this and i'm going to create uh, one uh, with, with the command so mysql hyphen config hyphen add uh, editor remove so this may be useful if you have to uh, to uh, clean up and then create it so to create it is mysql config editor set login path so this you have to define you have to give some name so i have given the name e skills underscore mysql underscore mysql backup uh, 
and hyphen hyphen host is uh, local host user i'm giving is mysql backup hyphen hyphen password and I'll, I'll give the password the password which i have created for this particular user i have to feed in the password is password at one two three so uh, let us uh, display uh, if the user is uh, able to log in so you can see mysql hyphen hyphen login path email to skills so you can see that i have not given the user id and password but uh, i have created uh, a string so that it will be able to log in so let me exit out of this and uh, we will create a shell script this is a very uh, basic shell script so what this is going to do is uh, this is going to create a mysql uh, uh, okay let me clean it up so you can see uh, the details are here and this will be available in the command sections as well uh, this is the main command mysql dump hyphen hyphen login path uh, i'm avoiding uh, i'm using this so that i don't uh, give the user id and password and hyphen hyphen uh, all hyphen database pipe zzip and uh, the dump location so the dump will be uh, stored under mysql hyphen backup and anything which is older than three days uh, using the m time command i'm going to delete that otherwise it is a very uh, basic shell script so let me execute this uh, shell script and this may take uh, uh, a minute or so so i am suggesting sh hyphen x linux2 hyphen mysql dump dot sh and uh, this will come uh, take a backup and uh, then compress it at the particular location with with the uh, the particular uh, 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 file name so everything is given here and it will appear as uh, linux2 all mysql dump and uh, today's date uh, dot sql i should have uh, added dot uh, zz as well so that would have been more meaningful because we are uh, zipping it anyways that's that's fine so uh, let me see if it is uh, so the backup is successful if you wanted to see uh, we can we can go to that particular location and we can see uh, with the today's date it has been created or not so you can see this is i should have given the dot uh, zz otherwise this is a compressed uh, uh, backup only and to unzip you have to say so uh, i should have given the dot uh, zz to avoid any kind of uh, confusion so just a, a recap of what we have done is uh, 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 we are going to create a mysql dump uh, of all the database and then we are going to compress it so uh, in the first half we have created a mysql backup user which is going to take backup of all the databases in the second step we are going to we what we did is we created a passwordless string for mysql backup so that you don't have to provide the user id and password every time you just pass the string uh, any user defined string and it will log into the uh, instance and in the third script uh, in the third step what we have done is we have created a mysql backup script uh, this is the main part of that script which uh, creates a, a zipped file of all the databases and if it is backup is successful it will uh, display the backup successful if it is not then it will say backup is unsuccessful and at the end it is going to uh, delete any any file which is older than three days so any dump which is older than three days will be removed i hope this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching